Hey everyone, it's Maria Rothenberger with your Fertility Friday Compassion Series quote number four, except it's actually Saturday <laughs> because the last few days I've been dealing with a cold and migraine and other stuff and I forgive myself, so I hope you forgive me too. <laughs> so, happy Saturday. Today's quote is uh, by Pema Chodron. I love this quote. Um, she says, compassion is not a relationship between the healer and the wounded. It's a relationship between equals. Only when we know our own darkness well can we be present with the darkness of others. Compassion becomes real when we recognize our shared humanity. And this reminds me of a conversation I had with somebody yesterday who called herself a fraud. And immediately I got in touch with that part of me that has like imposter syndrome. You know, like I'll ask myself, who the hell am I to like give advice and ask people to, you know, follow my lead and listen to the skills that I give and the feedback that I give and all that stuff. But <clears throat> I think that's a shared human experience, right? Like we all have that in some regard. And so I think that this is so accurate in that when we're giving compassion, it's not from this place of like pity, oh, poor person, like poor me or poor them. It's, ooh, I'm feeling with you. I know that feeling, I know it from personal experience. That's where true self-compassion and compassion for others comes from. So I like what they say here, when we're in touch with our common humanity, we remember that, that feelings of inadequacy and disappointment are universal. Aren't they though? Like we're all the same. And by the way, I'm reading from A Year of Living with More Compassion, if you haven't seen the previous videos for this, and each quote, uh, there's a quote per week, and each quote comes with some more detailed information, some riffing on that quote, and I'm pulling from that riffing. There's also a practice for this week, which is a little bit more involved, so I encourage you to really give some time to this, maybe pull out a journal or something and write these things down. There are four parts to this. So um, first one, think about a trait that you display that you judge yourself for. And I immediately thought of that I'm quick to anger when things don't go my way, particularly at home, like recently when the dog peed on a brand new rug. Yeah, I got pretty bent out of shape. So <laughs> I think, oh, I'm quick to anger. So think about the first question is, do you display that trait most of the time, sometimes, or only occasionally? And who are you when you don't display the trait? Are you still yourself? It's kind of a deep question, right? Part two, are you the only person who displays this trait? Or is this a common human experience? Part three, what are the various various causes and conditions that led to having the trait in the first place. Are there genetics involved? Is that is it an environmental thing? Like you saw somebody behaving that way and so you inherited that characteristic yourself? And if there are outside forces that are a part of the reason why you have this trait, is it accurate to think of the trait as reflecting who you really are inside? Kind of thought provoking and deep questions, right? Number four, what happens when you reframe your self description so that you're not defining yourself in terms of the trait? So like, instead of me saying, I am quick to anger, I'm a person that's quick to anger. I say instead, sometimes in certain situations, like when the dog pees on the new rug, I display that trait. And then how does it feel to think of yourself from that regard, as opposed to I'm an angry person thinking, well, sometimes I display anger. To me, it feels a lot softer. How do you feel? All right, that is your practice for this week, Compassion Week number four, for this year of 2020, Living with More Compassion. And for more information around this or other topics, particularly related to fertility stuff, you can visit my blog at drmariarothenberger.com. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you next week.